we have ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five, twenty-five. Let's check this out. Boom, booze. What's that say? Burberry. Oh my goodness. Burberry. Old Navy. Not impressed. Turn this one over. Now I'm impressed. <laughs> Previously on Locker Nuts, lockers have been real hard to buy recently, so I was extra excited to buy this gem. It's a big 10 by 20 locker full of totes, and it looked clean and very well organized. At $1,800, it wasn't cheap, but right away we found high value items like a Yeti cooler, KitchenAid mixer, high end sunglasses. I even found cash and gift cards left behind by the previous owners. There's also a tote with what appears to be high-end handbags. Anyone heard of Louis Vuitton? There is so much to get through, but I only have a few days to clear the locker out, and the next morning is another auction day. So first things first, let's go to the auctions. Looking for $20. Looking for $5. How big is it? A 10 by 20. Looking for $50. Wow. Wow. That was all sorts of names. 50 so, Sosa. 50 I heard 50 Sosa first, so I'm looking at 50, looking for 75. 75! 75! Well, 75, so I'm looking for 100. 100 Sosa, looking for 125. 250, looking for 275. Could I get a door? All right, I don't hear anything. 250, looking for 275. Oh, sure, all yours. Sorry, that's a sofa. 2420 and silence. Oh. That is it for the day. Next month's auctions are also on Monday or Tuesday. All right, you guys. So that was a bust. Bust. Those auctions were not good today. No problem, though. You know what? I got more than enough stuff to do. So I'm over here. I got my table set up right here for shipping. And because uh, last night we had a really big auction, live auction. And uh, I got so much to do. I got so much to do. So I decided not to go back to that unit today. I actually have boxes here at home that I need to um, go through. So, but I got not everything on the table, but a lot of the stuff on the table. I've already been shipping and boxing and I probably have 15 boxes already done. I have all of this still. So a little bit on the floor. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, everywhere, trust me. <laughs> so, uh, boxing up getting everything ready i'm gonna make the post office today i'll have a lot of packages shipped out that's how i would like to roll when i can you buy it monday night it's in the mail tuesday whenever i can that's what i try to do and what doesn't go out today will go out tomorrow all right so but there's more auctions tomorrow so we'll have to see if we're gonna make that too if i can do it if i can do it all i don't know but uh yep keep shipping keep shipping all right guys so we i mailed everything well, I didn't mail everything. I got everything boxed up. And we're watching the Pirates auction back there where I was. Uh, so Camille came out and said, what? <laughs> um, can I work for you for money? She wants some money. Yeah. What's the money for? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> What's the money for? <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> All right. Well, she told me it was just because she wanted to save money. Now it seems there is. I didn't believe her. So, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. But anyways, I got a job for her right here. Yes, it's real. Of course it's real. Yeah, I'm sure. 
No. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you Oh, know. yeah. There it is. You mm -hmm. know. I see it because there's supposed to be a little in it. That's one of the... There's different things that you look for to spot a fake. Um, this is all the money and all the gift cards. So, what we're going to do is go through... Look at that. That's a red envelope. That's mm -hmm. lucky. That's lucky in some cultures. Like Chinese culture, for, for sure it is. But I think other Asian cultures, too. The red envelopes. Very, very lucky. I'm lucky. Okay. So, well, I hope you are, Camille. I hope you are lucky. Ooh, that one's been scratched. This one's scratched, but um, most of them are not scratched. So this one might not have any value, but I'd say a lot of these... Well, that's a door card, a key card for a hotel courtyard. All right. So anyways, um, I think there's some money here. So Camille's going to work on that, right? Mm -hmm. Af after dinner? Okay. Yeah, Target. That has money on it for sure. It was in a, yeah. it was in an envelope. It was sealed. I think I opened it. It's still touched. It's like still attached. Yeah. All right. Twenty five. That's good, right? Mhm. Mm okay. All right. Let's go have dinner. Okay. All right. You're all done. Mhm. Mm okay. Well, you want to give us a summary? Okay. So these were all inactive. Dang. Really? Even the habit. Yeah. And the debit card's no good. Yeah. And all of those. Mhm. Mm Star. <laughs> and then so these were good huh these were good we had ten dollars mm -hmm. 25 25 and 15 mm -hmm. yes and this one had just zero dollars on it zero dollars so these were invalid that one had zero so we had 10 15 25 25 mm -hmm. how much is that that is 75 dollars 75 dollars all right well still it counts right mm -hmm. thanks for doing that All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? Let's see, it's almost 10 o'clock. I actually get a late start today. Just felt like taking a little bit of time this morning and uh, didn't want to have a rush, rush day again, having too many of those in a row. So taking my time, right now I'm headed out to get my trailer and then over to that unit. Uh, I gotta clean it out, all right? And I'm worried that it might be more than one load. So if it is, today's Wednesday, I got Thursday, also, I'm hoping tomorrow I can just like unbox and do some videos and have some fun. But if I don't get it all today, I'll have to come back tomorrow, finish it up. I have to be out by tomorrow. At least that's the deadline. They'll give me more time, but that's the deadline. So anyways, I'm on my way. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can knock this out quick. I'm not going to spend too much time over there. I'm going to try to be quick today just to get this part done. Move it over to my locker where I can then, uh, you know, do some unboxing and take my time. All right, yes, I'm back at the unit. Ugh, it traffic was terrible. It was terrible. I had to go get my trailer first. All right, picked that up at my mom's house, talked with her for a while, got on the road. I think there was an accident. It actually took so long to get through it that there was no sign of accident by the time I got up to where, wherever it may have been. It was really, really bad, like pre-virus uh, bad. Like we haven't seen too bad of traffic since the shelter in place was li lifted, but um, today was bad really really bad it took me a long time to get here it's a little bit after 12 can you believe that oh man um literally two and a half hours after i left wow so much wasted time well i'm here so i gotta start getting this stuff on there and i hope it fits this is going to make things go faster right here <laughs> all right get to it I've got my little GoPro up in the corner there doing time lapse. Uh, but I had to start this camera right here because check this out. Boom! Bows! Yeah. Oh, and look at this. You guys probably saw this in the other video. I didn't even see that. I'll bring it home and have some fun with it. Put it in the girls' room. But check this out. Bows! So this looks like it's coming unglued a little bit right here. So I have to fix that, but that's 100 bucks right there. Easy breezy, that is awesome. So, open 
this thing? Because here's the deal, okay? The people uh, uh, actually contacted the facility after losing their unit and asked that all paperwork, all paperwork be left behind. I said, oh, I'm happy to oblige. Very, very happy. So I just took, this was all full of paperwork. I took it all out. At the bottom there, look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh, that's a lot of coins in there. And they're mostly quarters. I barely see. Jeez, do I see any pennies at all? I don't know. <laughs> well, fun little find right there. Look at this thing. Eight track player. This is not new. Two cassettes. K99 stereo. It almost looks like a karaoke machine or something, but JVC. All right, there's the info. Hmm, that's old school. Huh. Looks like it's in nice shape. Hopefully it works. Where's all the? Where's all the inputs? So, like you'd expect there to be like. There's, no, I don't see any inputs. Um, oh, down here. Okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. Okay, headphones and microphones. I would expect there to be some microphones. Oh, it is a karaoke. Look at that karaoke right there. How cool. Huh. I know I got this on time lapse right there, but I gotta show you stuff. I gotta keep it, I gotta work fast, but I also gotta show you when I come across stuff. I have to open boxes because they want the files back. I, I know I just said that, but uh, look at look at this, look at this. Open this little cardboard. This is right on top here. Open this, files, right? And I've been kind of going through the files just to make sure, because I did find cash in this locker already. And then I see this, oh, and then look at this. <laughs> It does feel light though, it does feel light, okay? But still, but still, that's why I gotta open everything. What's that say? Burberry, oh my goodness. Burberry, should we open it? I think it's empty. I think it's empty. Let's open it anyways. Let's see. Oh, dang it. Empty, but still. Burberry, watch. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna put these in the car. We'll go through this later. We'll open the other ones later. I think they're empty. All right, I don't mean to get your hopes up, but yeah, that's why you gotta look at everything. What you think is just paperwork might be holding a couple treasures. Ooh, looking for paperwork. Found jeans. Old Navy, not pressed. Turn this one over. Now I'm impressed. <laughs> True religion. Did, are these worth as much as they, they were a couple of years ago? I haven't found a pair in a long time. Last one I found, yup, sold it on eBay. The good old eBay. That's another old Navy. The True religion is good stuff. Sorry, didn't mean damage merchandise. Just got excited. Okay, next box after the True Religion is another paperwork box. This is why I'm going through paperwork though. Most of it is paperwork, but then I find a stack of cards right here. This is $20 cash, okay? Maybe that's just to record what they've got me. Yeah. All right, that's just to record, probably for like a little party so they can send a thank you. Cards, you know, thank you for the $20 in cash, whatever. But these, I gotta go through all those just to see if there's anything they missed. <laughs> it 
<laughs> look at this if there's any doubt that these guys had money and spent it holy smokes <laughs> ferrari store dang all right that's where we're at so far i'd say hmm more than half full on that trailer and here's what we got here it's gonna be tight guys it's gonna be really really tight and the back of my truck is almost completely full I might be coming back for another trip. Maybe it's just a truckload, but it's going to be another trip, I think. Dang it. Okay, guys. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it knocked out. Okay. I'm a, I kind of went this way and then back and then about this way. I took the middle out. Um, this is all paperwork here. Paperwork and school books that I'm giving back to them. This I have to go through. This is a uh, take stuff. I just have to kind of consolidate. Oh man, all this has got to fit. It's got to fit or else I got to come back. But uh, I just noticed something. So this stack right here is stuff that I've already gone through, I thought, for the flea market. And uh, this is like the one stack of flea market from the first day I was here. This I thought was all books, but then I saw through the side here. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, it's not open. I'm not sure how I missed that. I'm not sure how I missed that. Let's open it. Does it does feel like there's something in there? Definitely does. Okay. Oh, and there is. Okay, a dollar. Hmm. Okay, so that's the third envelope we found. The first one had a fifty dollar, and then each of the next ones has a dollar each. What makes me really, really nervous is that I am going through all of these, uh, but it's impossible to check super, super carefully. I'm doing my best. I haven't seen any red envelopes in there. I'm doing my best, but I mean, I can almost guarantee if one of these is in the files, I'm probably missing it. So that's a real shame, but what am I gonna do? The question is, do you want to spend three, four hours in here to maybe turn up a couple of these? I don't really, even if it's a $50 bill I'm missing, I don't really want to spend the time doing that. Um, I need to get the paper paperwork back to those people as soon as possible because i don't want to come back here all right that's it you guys so look at this this is all paperwork and books there's some books school books and such they said they wanted anything paperback not no no pun intended paperback they wanted all their paper back returned all right so there you go a little bit of photo frame there lots of photos school a lot of school work Ooh. don't want to forget that guy right there <laughs> Yeah, I'd be coming back for that. Um, and here is the trailer load. Wowza. Wowza. And the truck. Heck of full. I don't, look at the back seats full. Even the front seats full. Uh, yeah. I'm glad I'm not coming back. So here's the thing, though. At the end, I kind of slowed down a little bit. Because when I saw bins that had a lot of paperwork in it, I went through them. I didn't film it because I just need to go faster. So like some of these bins over here, they're like, I made the bins basically. They didn't come like that. I took like little paperwork out of this bin, out of that bin. So kind of shuffle stuff around. So some of these bins, when I'm going back through them, I'll have already looked in them, which kind of stinks because I like going through it first time on camera. But for the sake of efficiency, that's what I did. Look at this, if, if I had to take that stuff back, and go to the dump with it, I had to either add another layer up here, which adds more weight and a little bit more danger, right? A little more risk. See, my tires are already bulging out a little bit. It's a lot of weight right now. So adding a little bit more weight, a little bit more height, just more chance that something could go wrong. So I'm glad, I'm glad. And I didn't want to come all the way back out here for that. So ah, we're done with this part. It feels good. Pick a couple of these little pieces of garbage off the ground. I just like to leave things tidy i know the facilities like me to leave it tidy so yeah all right well another one another one down well now's the fun part tying this beast down i hate that part <laughs> i hate that part now this is where i would start to say i should have a covered trailer but anyways i'm gonna get this packed up and get on the road so i can get back because i still have to unload this entire thing today it's not that much work, but... Uh, Alright guys, back at my unit. 
my unit all right I took a couple of the garbage bags off put it in i have two units okay so put the bags over there now i'm here i've been working to clear this space right here it means the back part of it's not going to be accessible but that's probably five by 15 right now that's what i got probably five feet by 15 foot area to get all this in there <laughs> all that in there well some of it i might just take home and go through it there but all these bins got to go in there it's going to be a huge wall I'll show you in just a sec. It won't be a sec for me, it'll be a sec for you. It's gonna be a, yeah, a few minutes for me. Okay, the, obviously these two items are mine. Everything else, everything else is a new, new resident here at the Locker Nets Locker. Uh, I counted, check this out guys, 104 totes, plastic totes, not including the boxes or miscellaneous items, okay? And that's only what's here, okay? I haven't unloaded the truck. I'm just too tired. I got all that and I got my whole back seat full, so, um, I'll maybe come back tomorrow or I'll do that at home. But that's 104 plastic totes and I probably have 20 to 25 at home. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm. You know what, actually, let's do the math here. Let's just say there's 125 totes, right? 125, oh yeah, by the way, I'm awfully sweaty and dirty. Check this out. <laughs> that's disgusting. It would look like a clean locker, but it was still pretty dusty, which is good. I like the dust because it means it's been sitting a while. Um, 125 totes. I paid $1,800, right? So uh, 15 bucks, just say. It's less than that. 14 bucks? 14 bucks a tote. Wow. I might be totally off on my math, but I think that I'm about, I'm probably pretty close to right. 13 or 14 bucks a tote, not including all the boxes. Not including all the boxes in that big TV. 13 bucks a tote. I'm looking at these totes and most of them I'd say, yeah, those are those are $13 totes. I mean, there's more than $13 in there. One item, 13. And we have that box of uh, purses at home. We'll take a closer look at that. That could be the big money. But like these shoes right here. Look at this. Oh, look at this tag right there. It's got a $40 tag on it. It's probably a $5 pair of shoes now. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of chances for money right here. So, anyways, anyways, I'm tired. I gotta, let me throw the tarp in. Let me lock this up and get on the road and get home. Because, uh, I haven't eaten. And, uh, I just want to get in somewhere that's a little bit cooler. It's awfully warm today. Okay, you guys, so thanks for watching. I don't, is this the end of the video? I don't even know. If it is, we'll see you next time. All right? If it's not, then, uh, cue the next frame. All right? But, um... Uh, yeah, the next video about soon. We've got lots of stuff to go through, and I've got an open day tomorrow. It's supposed to be auctions on Friday. If they cancel those, which they usually do at this facility, um, then I will be going through boxes making videos. If it not, I'll be at the auctions, hopefully buying more stuff. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good to actually be doing my job. Really. I mean, it sounds maybe funny, like I'm making a joke, but I'm really not feels good to be doing my job it feels good to be able to buy a unit moving stuff going through it that's what i do for a living that's the profession i've cho chosen but this uh post quarantine crazy crazy times we live in it's become very very difficult so i'm just happy to be doing this it's fun i love it all right next video will be out soon until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts Okay, Jana's been dying to see what's in here. So how about we take a poo? Yeah, I think this looks good. <laughs>